you gonna get this. You gonna get this. You know what? Let it get in your head. You gonna get this. Get your shit together. Get your shit together. Let it get in your head. Get your shit together. You gonna get this. So the Cold War is over between Devin Haney and Floyd Mayweather and what officially ended it was Floyd Mayweather leaking the infamous doghouse sparring between Javante and Devin Haney to Ryan Garcia. Now obviously Floyd Mayweather did that as a response to what Bill Haney had to say. When it came to Devin Haney retiring Floyd's comments, Floyd Mayweather didn't like that to the point where he leaked the footage to Ryan instead of Javante. Remember Javante originally told Floyd I want to buy the footage. Then he ended up blocking Floyd because Floyd Mayweather wouldn't give him the footage. Then Floyd Mayweather gave Ryan the footage. So it's been a roller coaster ride so far between these three Devin, Javante, and Floyd Mayweather. Now, recently, Floyd Mayweather came out responding to what Bill Haney had to say regarding the sparring between him and Devin Haney, where Floyd said, I wasn't in fighting shape. That was only my third day back training for the Conor McGregor fight, so I knew I was in sharp. Therefore, I worked on my defense against Devin Haney. Then Bill Haney responded with, Floyd Mayweather the defense wasn't working that night when he sparred Devin Haney. Here is exactly what Floyd Mayweather had to say on Fight Hype and the response from Bill. Check it out. Crazy that uh, the third day that I was in the gym, getting ready for Conor McGregor. I had a chance to spar Devin Haney. Oh, really? Yes. And so, you know, with me just moving around with him, I think we only did like probably four rounds because I wasn't in no shape. Mm. Devin Haney, sharp, sharp skills, great boxer. And you know, of course, his dad gonna rave about it. Oh, my son did this, my son did that. <laughs> um, but my, my take on it always is there's a lot of guys that can do good in a boxing gym. I can have 30 bad days in a boxing gym. The boxing gym don't count. So just with me being 40 years old, working with a young, youthful fighter like Devin, it made me, with me boxing him, I was more I, w I was more on the defense mm -hmm. than offense. Cause when you're at the elite level, you work on different things. So I know I knew I wasn't sharp. The third my third day back at age 40, I knew I wasn't sharp. So with me not being sharp, if I know my offense is not there, I'm working on my defense. That's why I got all my faculties now. Hey listen, Floyd responded to what you had to say about him sparring your son. Floyd said sparring don't count because it's only practice. That was his third day I back. I almost said not Floyd again, but then I thought you was going to say something nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying he, he said that was the third day back in the gym for, uh, for, 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 for Conor McGregor. He wasn't in shape and he wasn't working on his defense. You know, he wasn't working on his defense. Yeah. Well, he damn sure didn't get no offense. No, so he off. was working oh, on his okay, defense. My okay, bad, my okay, bad. Okay. He was working on his yeah, defense. Yeah, he was just working on his defense. Yeah. Well, it wasn't working that day. You know what I'm saying? And I listen. To get to where we got to, I got all the respect in the world for Floyd. If you can talk about, um, you got to understand, Floyd, when he gets in that ring, he ain't nothing nice. Ain't nothing nice about him. Ain't nobody, listen, he ain't going to let you do nothing to him right now to this day. Floyd ain't no punk, ain't no none of that, dog. When, I'm talking about in the ring or out the ring. You understand what I'm saying? So I don't take nothing away from him, right? I mm -hmm. just give the accurate account of everybody that Floyd sparred. If he was working on his defense on one day, he came back the next day and worked on his offense. Correct. You see what I'm saying? So, and I'm still not saying that no slight towards him. You know what I mean? I'm just saying the truth is that on that particular day, you got a chance. Everyone talks about the Javante Davis and Devin Sparn. They talk about Shakur and Devin Sparn, right? Mm -hmm. Everyone is like, the day Floyd and Devin sparred. So if we can talk about one, 
Why couldn't we talk about this one, Skip? What would be wrong with it? I don't understand that. If we can talk about every other one, right? Mm -hmm. Why couldn't we talk about it? You know what I mean? And what? and uh, when I was, it was more like I said to Floyd during the sparring session. I said, Floyd, it seemed it's, it's it's like you're looking in a mirror because everything that Devin it was like Kobe and Jordan. So I'm happy to 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 have witnessed it to a, a young master and a grandmaster. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But they say they want to talk about Shakur and Devin. Shakur and, and, and Devin and Tank. What's wrong with me talking about the time Floyd and him sparring? Makes no sense to me. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Let's move to the business side of, <clears throat> of the same person, Floyd. Floyd revealed that he wanted to sign Devin like Tank, but you guys chose to go another direction. Devin what, chose what, what, to. Okay, Devin, what, what, Devin what made him to. choose to take another route? I mean, De you, you know, Devin would have to speak for himself as far as that goes. You know, we, we did our best to look at everything that was on the table um, and choose the best situation. I can only tell him, you know, to analyze it and be a sounding board of information to him. Like I just give him back my opinion or what my interpretation of the language and agreement or whatever. And, um, you know, he decided that he would, you know, we were going to stay down and keep doing what we, what uh, ultimately we, what we're doing right now is uh, controlling our own destiny, putting it in our own hands. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that what I, what I said is it speaks volumes of who Devin is, his character and the person he is and how he believes in himself. That speaks volumes. So while others talk about other stuff, I said, let's talk about the real. Mm -hmm. If Floyd told you, he said, Skip, I'm going to take care of you, Skip. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take care of you, Skip. You go home and you think about Floyd Mayweather taking care of you, Skip, or you taking care of yourself. Take care of myself, man. There you go. Skip. I got to look that's at myself all. in the mirror at the end of the day. That's all. That's all we wanted to do, Skip. Great point. Well, there you go. So that was Floyd Mayweather and Bill Haney going back and forth. Floyd Mayweather responded to what Bill Haney had to say. Then Bill came back to clap some more at Floyd. Now, before this Cold War started or ended, Floyd Mayweather and Devin Haney had a great relationship. Devin Haney was 16 and Floyd Mayweather looked at Devin Haney like he looks at Carmel today. We all know Carmel Moten is like Floyd Mayweather baby. I mean, he got Floyd Mayweather back promoting and everything. We only see Floyd at a fight when Carmel Moten is fighting. That's it. That's all. That's how much Floyd Mayweather cares about Carmel Moten. And that's how much Floyd Mayweather cared about Devin Haney back in the day when Devin Haney was only 16, 17 years old. Before he started his own promotional company and became his own man. Floyd Mayweather was saying things like Devin Haney is going to be the next Floyd and he may even surpass me. We don't know. Only time will tell. So you guys may wonder, well, when the heck did this Cold War started between Floyd Mayweather and Devin Haney? Since we had no clue they were beefing behind closed doors. Now, Bill Haney believes that Floyd Mayweather started hating on Devin Haney after Devin Haney said no when Floyd Mayweather tried to sign him. According to Bill, that's when Floyd Mayweather was trying to block their blessings behind closed doors. And when I asked Bill Haney, like, what are you talking about? What did Floyd Mayweather do? Can you give me examples to what Floyd Mayweather did? Because I have no clue what Floyd Mayweather is doing. That's when Bill Haney told me, well, just look at when he told Ryan not to fight Devin Haney, even though his fighter Roley didn't even want the fight right now. Also, notice how Floyd Mayweather talked about the biggest three fighters in the game. He mentioned Canelo, Ryan, and Tank. Now, how are you going to mention Ryan but not mention Devin? When Devin Haney's name is first on the poster for a reason. Plus, Ryan's own father said Devin Haney is the A-side, which that means Devin Haney is a bigger name than Ryan. Even Ryan's own team admitted that. Bill also talked about how Floyd Mayweather wants Crawford to fight David Benavidez, a light heavyweight, which is equivalent of asking Floyd back in the day to fight Andre Ward, 
simply Floyd Mayweather doesn't want to see any black fighter shine if it's not him or if he doesn't have his hand on the plate. That's what Bill Haney believes. And Devin Haney even said that publicly on Twitter. Devin Haney said Floyd Mayweather is hating on him. Floyd doesn't want to see you win if he's not a part of it. Now, here is exactly what Floyd Mayweather had to say on Fight Hype regarding signing Devin Haney. Check it out. I don't want to come off like, like I'm hating on Devin. He deserved, it. he deserved to make the money that he's making. Every promoter moves different. And me and Devin sat down before to try to, to try to make, um, a re- you know, for us to come together mm-hmm. and make a relationship happen. We could have been, we could have been did this, and that could have been him in the in the fight with Ryan Garcia. Mm. Things happen. Floyd Mayweather was basically saying, Devin Haney's having a great career without me. However, look at Tank with me. He was able to get the Ryan Garcia fight and secure the bag. Well, ironically, Devin Haney was able to land the Ryan Garcia fight immediately after Javante. I'm talking about the year after Tank. Devin Haney is fighting Ryan Garcia right now, and he's able to secure the bag just like Javante did with Floyd. However, Devin Haney is doing it without Floyd on his own. By following the Floyd Mill, the green print, by being a free smoke fighter, fighting the best every single time, and by delivering the biggest fights that the fans want to see, obviously the bag is going to come with it. Therefore, to say Devin Haney is doing great on his own, landing the biggest legacy and money fights in the sport is an understatement. I mean, Devin Haney at 25 years old, his resume is stacked. His legacy is stacked. And his pockets is already stacked, let alone after the Ryan Garcia fight. Devin Haney is already set for life. There's no doubt about it. Devin Haney is the youngest, richest, most accomplished fighter in the sport. Not just in boxing, probably in any sport. I mean, who else is making that type of money at 25 while at the same time accomplishing undisputed, beating the likes of Gamboa, Linares, Jojo, Combosis twice in Australia, Lomachenko, and Regis at a second division. Now fighting Ryan after that. We talking about a two division champion, a former undisputed champion who's undefeated. If I give you the credentials on Devin Haney, you will think he's 35 years old, not 25 years old. That's why Devin Haney has the ultimate potential of being the biggest name in boxing since Floyd Mayweather retired. I'm talking about the biggest face in the sport since Floyd. And he's the only one that has the potential to actually surpass Floyd because he has all of the credentials from the popularity, the money, the resume, the legacy fights, the it factor, and the opponents to be able to pull it off all together. I mean, even Floyd Mayweather saw the potential in Devin. That's why Floyd Mayweather wanted to sign him to begin with. That's why I always said from day one, if Floyd Mayweather is the MJ of boxing, which he is, then Devin Haney has the potential to be the Kobe of boxing. So it says a whole lot for Devin Haney to be more accomplished at 25 years old than pretty boy Floyd was. Nevertheless, when it comes to the Cold War, that turned to a hot war. I'm talking about World War III type of war between Devin, Bill Haney, and Floyd Mayweather. There's clearly some personal stuff going on that we don't have no idea about. That's why you really can't make a judgment on this situation. All we could do is pray or hope that they squash the beef. On the other hand, the way Bill Haney is looking at it right now, When a lion takes over the jungle, he has to kill the old lion, which is the shack mentality of you got to kill the master to become the master. Some may say that's the cycle of life. Definitely, this ain't a movie. This ain't a Simba movie. We all know in real life, when a cup grows up, in order to take over the pride, he has to kill the king of the jungle or at least beat him to take over his pride. Nevertheless, I don't think this is that deep. When Floyd Mayweather sparred Devin Haney, he was 40 years old and Devin was like 16 or 17. Now, we all know 40 is old in terms of boxing years. Now, when it came to Floyd, he was sharp or he is sharp still to this day. Floyd Mayweather is sharp at any age. 
That's why he's the GOAT. Remember, Floyd Mayweather beat Manny Pacquiao at 38 years old. So Floyd Mayweather is one of the sharpest fighters to ever live. On the other hand, Devin Haney at 16, 17 years old, he was pretty green. He had a lot of potential. However, he didn't quite know how to use his weapons yet. He was inexperienced. So both fighters had their disadvantages and advantages when they sparred each other and Floyd Mayweather sparred Devin Haney out of love to pass him the torch at the time. Remember, Floyd Mayweather was planning on signing Devin Haney and when Devin Haney sparred Floyd, he was over the moon. It was in no disrespect. Devin Haney have always said he was grateful for the opportunity and moment. So with that being said, go ahead and drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe below. And to be continue on the next episode of Akhi TV. Peace out. Wa alaikum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Send a message. Huh? Send a message. Listen, after we beat the shit out of Ryan Garcia, Tank, you ain't got no excuses. <laughs> Can you tell us about the, you felt like Mayweather was against you or everyone was against you? Said, you no, honestly, I just said that he's with Ryan on this one. You know what I mean? Maybe we can flip him back over on this side. But right now, he's riding with Ryan, and he knows that we're, we're closer than Ryan is um, to, to casting a shadow of a doubt that he might not have been as good as Devin is at 25. I know it's a, it's a fight for freedom. It's a fight for um, um, Devin owning the show and being a real promoter in the game. So I think that maybe, um, you know, with all that going on, that, that Floyd is pulling for himself as well as pull, pulling for Ryan, that Devin doesn't come out on top. But it ain't going to work, Floyd. You Devin he said that he, was uh, he could have huh? stopped he uh, Regis. The he should have showed the sparring video of him and Devin. Mm. Yeah. What? Mm. Now, why he's showing all this Ooh. sparring video? Yeah, showed us. And it was yeah. 6 0. It wasn't close. It was like Floyd was looking in the mirror when I told him. How long ago? Yeah, how long ago was that? It was before the Conor McGregor fight when he finally decided that he could no longer be in the boxing Ooh. with no real fighters. Devin is the one that stamped that. He knew that the torch had to be passed, and he passed it to Devin. I mean, because it was either it was either force or it is what it is right now. We will be challenging him, and like we challenge everybody. There's nobody in boxing in or around the division that, you know what I mean? He's not uh, looking to fight. Now, now, I'm going to ask you this. If you're not Ryan the liar, then you said that you seen Devin get wobbled. If you're not lying, Ryan, you seen Devin get wobbled by Tank on there. Did you see Tank get stopped? And did you see me get paid when, Tank, when Devin stopped Tank? Question. If you seen the tape, I told you he's a liar. I don't know. Did you see the tape? Did Floyd, did Floyd show you the tape? Yes, he showed me the tape. Did you see Devin get? Did you see Devin stop tape no. and see us get paid the money? No, no. So you only saw part of the tape. No, maybe I don't know. It was obviously clip, but at the end of the fucking tape, Devin was getting his ass knocked out. I'm not capping. Well, I mean, we watch, we watch tape knock you out. World see tape no. knock you out. You quit. Yes, good. You okay. quit. You quit the world, then you take a knee and quit like a bitch. Then stop. Stop the God and stop you. Johnny, we're going to continue with some. You're going to get stopped. A couple questions for uh, 